-hmm. There's a lot of pluses about Leicester. Yeah. Uh, they are a very, very strong club now. You say a lot of pluses, Brendan Rodgers, big plus? Yeah, I think he's, his football style is to be um, aggressive, try and win football matches, cause havoc for the opposition, has lots of pace in his team, players with great technical ability, also a willingness to cover every blade of grass on the pitch. He's got a very good side there at Leicester. You know, when he left Celtic, and a lot of Celtic fans were upset, but he left Celtic because he knew he was joining a club with a far superior talent pool, as in players. And I think that excited him. Leicester was a job that a lot of people would have looked at and thought, got a lot of good players there. Mm. Really have. I think, you know, if many managers have a choice of a club that isn't the elite club, as in, as in the biggest clubs in the country, Leicester is one of the most exciting projects. How exciting is someone like James Madison who's starting to get back into the, yeah, James, into the fold James, and, yeah. and perhaps could uh, be included in England squads in future. Yeah, he's he's got that ability to see a pass. And when things are... I, he struggled with a little bit of his fitness. In games he's mm. played, he looks like now he's getting very close to his best again because he came in and out of the team and just didn't quite look right. But he's a very talented... We talked about set piece. I talked about Ward Prowse earlier. I talked about, obviously, Sigerson. He's up there. He can deliver very regularly. Great balls into the box. He can be dangerous from outside with shots for him, himself. He's a real talent. There's loads of things to be really positive about Leicester. The, the big surprise for me... I mean, look, they went and won Man, uh, Man City 5-2. You know, they got yeah. beat by West Ham 3 0 at home. You know, they've had some really odd results. Fulham at home beating them. They are a dangerous side. If you catch them on the wrong day, they'll hurt you because they've got a lot of good things. And Vardy, who's 34 in Jan, is just the best. I don't think I've ever seen anyone improve so much in front of goal. Because the first. What, under Brendan Rodgers? Uh, well, no, I, just him in, in general. general. He, was, he was always a striker that wanted to get on the shoulders of defenders, get on one on ones, finish, but wasn't quite as clinical. Boy, has he become clinical. Mm. He really has over the last couple of years. Since 16, every year I felt he's got better in front of goal. And, and have you noticed a difference in, in Jamie Vardy under Brendan Rodgers than under Claude Puel? Oh, most, well, Claude Perel done the worst thing you could ever do. He'd done the rude hullet of Alan Shearer at Newcastle. I mean, who thinks... Which is just, what? In well, you end up... Mean. You, make, you try and make an example in a dressing room and you drop a player and you leave him out and then the two, team is too reliant on Jamie Vardy. It's a massive mistake. Claude Perel came in and had a defensive attitude to the team. Mm. Vardy would hardly touch the ball because they never could create for him. And you're, you're taking away their biggest weapon. I, I thought it was one of the weirdest decisions I've ever seen in football. And I mentioned Rui Rulli because he did it at Newcastle to Alan Shearer, which was daft at the time. Mm. Can you make a prediction Sorry, for this Rude. one? Jeez. <laughs> I think Palace will do ever so well to get anything from the game. Anything. Anything. If really? they get a draw, it's a great result.